Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be talking about the Revenge OS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro based on Android Pie and this is the 17th February 2019 build. So let me just show you how is the ROM and what's different over here. So first of all, which you will notice is the stock launcher over here is not the quick step launcher and to the left we have the Google Now cards. I have changed the theme to dark. So that's why it looks kind of dark the Google Now cards and even the quick settings panel if you would notice as you can see over here the quick settings panel looks kind of like dual tone tint over here and this just looks pretty good in my opinion and it happens with all the toggles if you turn it on and let me show you with the volume panel as you can see the volume panel looks like this so we have some kind of dual tone tint and even if you increase the brightness as you can see it goes kind of like a from dark to like bright over here so even if you change the accent colors this just happens so let me just go into the settings quickly from here and let's go to display settings and let's go to advanced here you will see the look and feel and over here you will see the color theme these are the like accent colors over here if you would set it to like this pure last or something let me just show you here as you can see it went to like kind of red and dark and you can change to like more stuff this key may kind of stuff and it, it will look like this so you have plenty of options of this dual tone tint over here and let me just change it to like light themed over here as you can see i change it and you can change this to like totally black or amulet black like too dark black kind of stuff if you are into that but i'm not setting it because it's a ips display so it's really harsh on the eyes and we do have the tap to wake or the double tap to wake feature and stuff over here night light of course works super fine and the customizations icon over here is the revenge os icon so let me just go into the settings quickly and show you the about phone over here let's go into android version here you will see the android version is 9 of course android pi and if i just go back here you will see the stock kernel is pure caf kernel the revenge os kernel over here and this is the build number and it shows the revenge os logo on like to the bottom over here and let me just go back we have a system updater over here this is kind of a delta update as you can see it's kind of checking the update right now but this is the latest build so there are no new updates let me just go back and this rom does have pretty much plenty of customizations and about the stock launcher this does not have the double tap to sleep let me show you the stock launcher settings as you can see here are the stock launcher settings and it does not really have much of customizations so basic pixel launcher pretty much and you can like you can't swipe down on the home screen to get the like quick toggles panel over here so that's a kind of a downside in my opinion but yeah and the stock camera over here is the Mi 2 camera by default over here and we have two cameras the secondary camera over here is the like snapdragon camera of the zen phones and as you can see you have all these options of this kind of stuff so these are the two cameras present over here and you can use the google camera if you want to you can install the google cameras there are options like the of the camera to api so the camera to api is enabled by default so you can definitely install any kind of pixel camera and use it with the google camera so that is how it is and google pay does work super fine in this rom you don't need to worry about like doing any tweaks google pay just works right away and regarding vaulty vaulty does work super fine over here in this rom let me show you the in call ui so here as you can see we have the in call ui but we do not have any kind of like call recording option this is kind of the pixel experience uh, call recording UI. And now let me just quickly show you the customizations of this ROM. Let's go into customizations. Here we have the status bar. Inside status bar items, we have the headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons. And we have the status bar battery style. From here, you can change the battery style to circle, dotted circle, etc. We have the next to the icon percentage showing option for the battery. And traffic indicator is there. And as you can see, it's working. 
so these kind of stuff are there and inside misc of status bar we have the vaulty and show data like disabled icon and the status bar double tap to sleep so the status bar double tap to sleep does work super fine and inside notifications you will see the heads up disabling option so these features are there you have the battery like the notification led customization over here and inside nav bar we have the navigation bar enabler and of course it's enabled and you can use the edge gestures but do keep in mind with the edge gestures the haptic feedback you can't really disable it and it's kind of harsh the haptic feedback with the edge gestures only is kind of really harsh like in my opinion but with normal usage of the nav bar it's not harsh at all this does feel pretty good and inside lock screen we have the lock screen UI we have the face auto unlock option and I did set up face unlock I'll show you the speed and stuff later on and over here we have the double tap to lock like on the lock screen and we have the temperature and stuff on the lock screen we have the lock screen UI tuner over here you can set the shortcuts like differently and if you go into system we have the buttons from here you can like enable this advanced reboot and stuff as you can see we have the advanced reboot option and you can directly reboot to recovery bootloader or like soft reboot the device let me just go back and i'm really like sorry for the background noise i can't really help it they are just playing music for a marriage or something and over here we have the volume rocker wake and stuff the playback control and stuff let me just go back the battery life of this rom i'm really impressed with the battery life of this rom i'm getting around eight hours of screen on time like with my kind of usage and that is really amazing with this rom the battery life gets a really big thumbs up from me the battery life is insanely good here are some screenshots in front of you to just prove it and as you can see the battery life is just great and here's the enter to score of this rom let me just go back and one more thing about this rom that really sucked like for me with this build after like flashing this rom i could not even enter the password on the setup like the wi-fi password because there are no keyboards at all like pre-installed so i had to like flash a zip of the google keyboard so that's how it is if you need the google keyboard after flashing this build like this particular build might be having this issue so the keyboard is not really present any kind of keyboard is not present it was not present at least for me so if you want that zip it will be linked in the description box below but the google keyboard was not even there like no even aosp keyboard was not there so i had to flash the zip with twrp that's when i got the google keyboard and that's when i could enter the password of my wi-fi so that really sucked i'm just letting you guys know that these kind of problems are there and one more thing that is really annoying for me at least is whenever you take a screenshot as you can see it took like it does the kind of sound and you can't really disable it even if your phone is in vibrate or even like totally silent mode that's what's happening over here so you gotta keep these kind of small little bugs in mind while you are flashing the rom and this rom does have the me sound enhancer if you go into the sound settings then go to advanced then just scroll down you will see these kind of sound settings you can disable the charging sound charging vibration and stuff but there is no option to disable the screenshot sound so that's what like makes me kind of disappointed but you can't really disable the screenshot sound from the sound settings and of course there are these in call vibrations for the vibrate on connect vibrate on call and even the vibrate on disconnect options are there and if you go into me sound enhancer and you will see these kind of sound settings over here i have chosen it to be the youth sound or youth edition or you can choose it to be whatever headphones you have like the me in ear or the pistons or the general kind of stuff there are a lot of options like the or for the audio didact so these options are present and you can even choose the presets to be default rock jazz etc stuff so these are pretty cool options in my opinion and these works pretty much super fine and the sound output via the headphone jack because of this audio direct is just great i'm enjoying like listening to the music with this rom and now let me quickly show you the face unlock speed and stuff let's just lock the device and as you can see it unlocked let's just do it again it unlocks so face unlock speed is super fine i did flash the micro g apps by the way and over here let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed So as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is really fast you don't need to worry at all regarding the fingerprint scanner speed being slow or something. So that is how it is let me just close these and now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the RAM management of this ROM. 
Of course, the customizations are not insane over here in this ROM, but yeah, you have like normal customizations over here, which really helps with debris usage. And over here, one feature that I am missing is the power button toggle torch. So that feature is not simply present over here, but yeah, you gotta use to like use it without it. And there are no like brightness adjustment with sliding a finger on the status bar. So that's how it is. And as you can see, all the apps are in memory. So no issues regarding memory management or even app opening up speeds. In my opinion, these app opening up speeds or animation is working super fine in this ROM, as you can see. So that's just great. The ROM really feels super smooth over here, no issues whatsoever. And even Google Pay and stuff does work right away after you flash the ROM. So that is a really great thing. And you can play PUBG and at like HD settings, so that's really cool. So this is a great ROM, gets a really, really good thumbs up from me. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this ROM guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from Carry and Tech signing up for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.